One of the most renowned themes in films and science fiction series is the topic of stargates. These stargates can supposedly transport you from your location to a distant point in the universe, or even transport you to a parallel universe that's entirely different from your original universe. Perhaps the most famous sci-fi series that addressed this topic is Stargate. It presented all these ideas in a unique dramatic context, captivating a vast audience over the years. For a long time, many believed that everything shown in this series was merely science fiction and that it was impossible for such things to exist in the real world. But imagine if I told you that this might not be just fiction. What if these stargates could actually be real and exist in our world? And not just that, their history and discovery might date back to ancient times, to ancient civilizations that came to know and discover them for the first time. According to some tales, they even used them to reach other parts of the universe. Join me today, dear viewer, as I discuss the subject of stargates, straddling the line between science and myth. Prepare your mind for an exciting journey that will take you beyond the limits of imagination. But before we delve into the topic, if you love mysteries, don't forget to subscribe to the channel where we discuss topics you'll hear about for the first time. Our entire story begins in 1935 when the great scientist Albert Einstein, along with his fellow physicist named Nathan Rosen, first proposed a scientific paper. It introduced a new term that was different from anything physicists had discussed at the time. This term was Einstein-Rosen bridges, now more famously known to the world as wormholes. So what's the story behind these wormholes? The basic idea of wormholes is primarily based on the concept of black holes and how they operate. As you might know, black holes are formed when massive stars collapse onto themselves concentrating their entire mass into a single point called a singularity. This concentration is so intense that its gravitational pull becomes almost infinite, making it impossible for anything, including light itself, to escape it. Hence, they earned the name black holes. But the novel thing that Einstein and Rosen introduced in the scientific paper they published is this. What if the intense gravity of black holes causes space to bend around it to such an extent that it creates a tunnel or bridge between dimensions, allowing matter that enters from one side to exit from another through a different black hole. This strange bridge or tunnel could form in any region of space where the right conditions for its existence are met. Supposedly, it's linked to a distant point in space and allows for the transfer of physical bodies and matter between these two points quickly without traveling the actual distance between them and even faster than light itself. However, after this idea took the world by storm and everyone was talking about the possibility of one day detecting and traveling through these wormholes to distant parts of the universe, Einstein came forward. He stated that these supposed wormholes they talked about wouldn't be viable for any object to pass through. As soon as they open, they immediately close due to the overwhelming gravity of the black hole exerting pressure on them, forcing them to shut once again. As of this moment, these wormholes remain merely a mathematical hypothesis. No one has detected them anywhere in the universe. And even though many science fiction works have discussed them, the most recent being the 2014 movie Interstellar by director Christopher Nolan, Many scientists consider their existence to be nothing more than science fiction. So, how does this relate to our topic? Some paranormal researchers speak of a strange phenomenon called stargates. They argue that these stargates are the actual representation of wormholes, but they can be controlled, traversed, and are found here on Earth, known for a long time. Ancient civilizations even used and learned the secrets of the universe from them. To better grasp what's coming, let me first explain what exactly these stargates are and how they work. Essentially, according to believers in their existence, stargates are portals or dimensional cosmic windows. They allegedly allow for the transfer of entities, be it living beings or solid physical elements, from one place to another or even to a completely different time, regardless of the vast distances separating these locations. 
These gates are believed to exist at certain locations on Earth, termed vortex points. These points are said to possess a very high energy field, resulting from the interaction between the Earth's electromagnetic fields and the Sun's, among other reasons. The power of these points lies in their ability to shorten vast distances, estimated in millions of miles separating stars, planets, and even galaxies. Those entering one end of a stargate can travel to the other end located elsewhere in the universe, or even in a different time, all without being bound by known physical or temporal rules. The idea of stargates isn't new. It has been around for a very long time, and has been discussed by many philosophers, thinkers, and even physicists. The discussions and theories about them are so numerous that it's nearly impossible to distinguish between fact and fiction amidst all these narratives. However, one thing many believers in stargates agree on is that pinpointing their locations is extremely difficult and almost impossible. And this is because they are unstable during their existence periods. They can vary greatly to the extent that some might only last seconds, while others might remain for many years. In fact, some people say that there were stargates that existed in ancient times thousands of years before our era, which are no longer present today. These gates might explain the existence of some of the strangest archaeological sites on the planet's surface, the mysteries of which remain unsolved to this day. Take, for example, the Abu Ghraib area located north of the Abu Sir pyramids in Egypt, south of the Giza governorate, and north of Saqqara. Its name is derived from the ancient Egyptian name Ber Ozir, which literally means the residence of the god. This site is considered one of the oldest on Earth, dating back more than 4,500 years. Ancient Egyptians built one of the well-known sun temples there, familiar to anyone who studies ancient Egyptian history. So, what's the story of this area? Inside, there is a strange marble platform that archaeologists consider to be altars, However, some believe this platform is actually a very ancient stargate that used to be in harmony with the Earth's vibrations and magnetic fields. They suggest that a person entering this gate would experience heightened senses to such an extent that they could connect with astonishing and unfamiliar cosmic energies that were once considered sacred and well known to them, but are completely unknown to us now. Additionally, in the Abydos Temple, located west of the Albalina city in Sohag, which most archaeologists agree was the first capital of Egypt at the end of the pre-dynastic period and the first four dynasties and dates back to 5,000 years, there is a famous ancient Egyptian relief that appears to depict helicopters, submarines, and tanks. Many consider this as clear evidence of stargates that were utilized by the priests and dignitaries in ancient Egypt. There are also very ancient Iraqi artifacts that date back to the Sumerian civilization. These have been kept quiet, but they feature King Sumer, supposedly during a transitional phase between two worlds. He is surrounded by columns on both sides that appear to be made of water. In a Sumerian manuscript, also named the Ninurta Manuscript, there's a figure that appears to be wearing a modern wristwatch, similar to the ones we wear in our current era. Believers in the existence of stargates consider this manuscript as evidence that the person depicted comes from another time, or even a different dimension. In Sri Lanka, one of the most famous archaeological landmarks known as Ramasu Oyana was once a royal garden that operated through an advanced hydraulic system. However, what's truly astonishing isn't just that, but in one part of this garden, Archaeologists found an engraved map with strange symbols that have no logical explanation. Many enthusiasts suggest that the symbols on the map are codes meant to open stargates that once existed in this region. These gates would allow interdimensional travel, but of course there's no scientific evidence supporting this claim. Other archaeologists believe it's merely an ancient representation of the world as they imagined it back then. Moreover, in Peru, South America, near an ancient lake sacred to the Inca civilization called Lake Titicaca, there's one of the most renowned places considered an ancient stargate. This area is called Gates to the Gods, 
which was discovered in 1996 by a tour guide passing through the area. What's there is a large stone carving of a door, about seven meters tall and seven meters wide, with a smaller door of similar design carved at its base. According to local legends, this gate was once a passage for mythical heroes who went through it to join their deities in the afterlife. Other legends suggest that not only did these heroes pass through this gate, but they also returned to Earth accompanied by the gods to check on the world and the people they left behind. Besides that, there are dozens, maybe hundreds of other places worldwide, spanning across civilizations and ages. These places contain peculiar sites deemed ancient stargates that were used to explore realms never before seen. In the end, whether you believe this story, are convinced it's true, or just see it as a mere myth, there's no doubt it's an intriguing and peculiar tale. It deserves to be part of the unique topics we discuss together. Ultimately, as always, the decision to believe is entirely up to you. I'm eager to hear your thoughts in the comments. As usual, I'll leave the sources under the video in the description. If you're interested in mysterious topics like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with new content. See you on a new journey, stranger than anything before. Peace.